Big Itch from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to take a close look at the Sega Dreamcast with an SD card inside. So I came across this thing on AliExpress. I'm a big Sega Dreamcast fan. I'm thinking, hmm, is this maybe a good solution? Of course, you can build it yourself if you want to, if you have a Dreamcast laying around or you can pick it up for, let's say, not a lot of money and you want to build it and you want to add this SD function. It's always possible, but I just wanted to show on you what are you going to get? All right, so the first thing that I find really annoying about these um, people are selling it is that you can't get it with a controller. So if you have a controller laying around, okay, that's it's very convenient, but I didn't have a controller, so I needed to buy a separate controller. So I don't understand why they not give you the option for, let's say, to get the full kit with RGB cable, power cables, and etc. No, you can just only buy the system itself. I just want to point it out, so you need to buy an RGB cable and a power cable. And what is also a very tricky thing, you need to hope when you're sending this Chinese uh, seller a message, and not from the future, but sending him from, okay, I want to have this in, let's say, 110 volt because I live in the USA. Can you sign me the right one? It's always a little bit of a gamble because I did read some people did get the wrong one. And if you power it on with the wrong voltage, phew, there goes your power supply and your Sega Dreamcast. All right, so did I order the 256 version? Oh yeah, because I want to have the biggest. But here comes the epic fail. So he didn't mention you're going to get two cards. Yeah, that is really convenient. No, it's not. So I don't know if this thing supports even more than 128 gigabytes. So that is a first question and I can't figure out and I don't have a 256 gigabyte, but there was another thing and he had a very good point. If you're adding a bigger card, and here comes the problem, if you're combining it, yes, say yes, it's possible to add 256 gigabytes. But the problem with this is it takes forever to load up. So how bigger the card, how longer it's going to take. That is freaking annoying. But before we're going to play some games, let's take a close look inside and what are we going to get? Did he replace something or clean something? No. We are having this GD IMI board that is basically plug and play on the main board. The power supply itself looks very nice. As you can see, I'm getting the idea it's a brand new one. Alright, so he replaced the battery holder. That's a very common problem with these Dreamcast systems. So we can very easily replace it. Guard will not be a very big of an issue. So, all right. So this is the GD Emu version 5.5. It's from 2017, so it is not the newest version. The fan itself looks very nice and very clean. Still, the question is: this thing like a freaking vacuum cleaner? I hope not, because that is a very big problem with these Dreamcast systems. So, but looking at the other side, I am guessing this is just an old power supply. So that's a little bit of a bummer that he not even cleaned it very well. All right, so let's put the top case on. And I just wanted to show you the following thing. When you want to replace the SD card, it's not very easy, but I'm going to buy the, let's say, small upgrade so you can do this way easier and it looks a little bit better. But it's something I'm going to do with another video, buying the upgrade kits. All right, so I'm going to use one of these SD cards, close it, connect it, and let's see how it works. Game time. All right, so I can already tell you, spoiler, this thing is like a vacuum cleaner. Really annoying. So fun fact, um, this thing is in Japanese region because the decal is red. So the mainboard itself, they have swapped it. They use basically a European power supply with a Japanese mainboard. All right, so can I start or does this thing go into bitch about everything I try to do? Okay, it's going to reboot. All right, let's go. Let's see if it boots up in the menu. Ah, all right, here comes something. Let's see, it's booting up. All right, so 
I already tried some things, for example, I tried a 32 gigabyte card and I can recommend you just use a smaller card and add the games you really want. And it makes this boot process way faster because this thing takes forever. So I understand if you even have them bigger than 128 gigabytes, that would basically takes forever, forever to load up. All right, when it's finally powered on, yes, this is the menu we're going to get with the Genie menu. Right here we can see here we're having the region. Uh, if it supports VGA, that is very convenient if you want to use the HDMI cable from Pound, for example, or just a VGA box. Here they have some other information. Uh, some of them have the little disc over there. So, right, so very curious, how does it play? Oh, it seems to be, and this is something I wanted to show you. It's very good that it happens in this video. I'm making this video. Sometimes it just freezes. I don't know if this is a problem with the GE EMU or the SD card itself. So, but I'm I'm going to reboot and I'm going to grab the other card. Versus SNK. Alright, so I just wanted to show you, I know, grab an 8 gigabyte card, very small, but just wanted to give you an idea how fast this thing is going to load up when you're choosing a smaller card. I also did notice with the card that I got with the Chinese seller, I had a lot of problems with booting up. I don't know what's going on with it, but there is something not right. Alright, as you can see, loading screen, and it's almost instant boot. It also can be the card itself, it's a broken card, don't know, to be honest at this point I don't care, but keep this one in mind that you're using a smaller amount of storage cards. Alright, so this is what we're going to get with the GD Emu and the Sega Dreamcast. So the first thing that I noticed is that he is using a Paul, let's say, a Paul cover or a Paul casing, but the inside is a Japanese model. Not a big of an issue, but I'm thinking, okay, if you do it right, just do it the full, full way. Give me a Japanese version with the original red logo or the other way around. Maybe a little bit picky about it, but there are the little things that I that annoys me. And another thing, the two cards, I already told him that he doesn't need to do that. Or simply just show it in your auction that you're going to give two cards. Because it is a little bit misleading if you're saying you're going to give me a 256 gigabyte card and give me at the end two smaller cards. I understand with booting up, but if I'm seeing this, 
just grab yourself a 60 gigabyte or an 8 gigabyte card at your favorite game and just do this because simply if you're getting a big card it's going to give you a very long load time and i don't know what he did with this but i had a lot of problems booting did not boot up or just froze in the menu that i've shown you all right so still out of the box if you're if the thing seems to be working let's say are you giving you a good sd card so it's it's a pretty good deal simply because if i personally need to buy a sega dreamcast over here and i need to buy a gdmu i'm going to pay almost the same amount of money all right so let me know what do you think of this i want to thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell and it would be great to see you in the next video